All right, so we're looking at how to do the uh, Hardy Weinberg lab. So in that, I will be giving you uh, the numbers, uh, you know, uh, for those experiments. So you're not actually going to do the experiments. I'm going to give you the numbers that you would get had you done the experiment. So, uh, and then I'm going to show you in this uh, how to fill out these charts here. All right. So these are your raw numbers. So uh, if you get two beans that are, are black beans, uh, they would be big B and big B. So the big B represents the uh, black bean. Uh, the little B represents uh, the white bean. So if you pull out of the bag two black beans, uh, then that individual would be big B, big B. If you pull out two white beans, uh, that individual would be little B, little B. Uh, and if you pull out one of each, they would be heterozygous, big B, little B. All right. So our total here uh, is uh, six. Uh, plus 13 is 19 plus two, uh, six more is 25. And so that's what you should have because you put in 50 beans, right? Uh, so uh, to figure out how many uh, big B alleles that we have, well, you have six of those big Bs and then you also have six of those big Bs, so that's 12. And then you have 13 of those big Bs and so that's 25 which makes sense because that's how many you put in. All right, now to figure out how many little bees you have, well, you have six of those little bees and then six of those little bees and then 13 of those little bees. So six plus six is 12 plus 13 is 25. And that once again makes sense because that's how many you put in. The total here together is 50. All right. So now to determine uh, what all these are, P squared, 2PQ, Q squared, P, and Q, remember P squared is a frequency of the uh, homozygous dominance individual. So that's this. So in order to figure out what P squared is, we're gonna have to take six and we're gonna divide that by 25, all right? Because that's a total number of individuals there, all right? So six divided by 25 equals 0.24, all right, so here uh, 2PQ is the frequency of the heterozygous individuals in the population. So if you take 13 and divide it by the total number of individuals in that population, which once again is 25, uh, 13 divided by 25 equals 0 0.52. All right, so over here Q squared is the frequency of the homozygous recessives individuals in the population. So you're going to take the number of individuals that are homozygous recessive, you're going to divide it by the total number of individuals in the population, which is 25 again, and 6 divided by 25 equals 0 0.24. Now once again, these three numbers should equal 100% uh, or 1. All right? To determine what P is, P is the frequency of the dominoes. So you're going to take how many domino alleles you have and divide by the total number of alleles in that population. So this is 25 here divided by 50, which is equal to 0 0.50. All right. To figure out what Q is, you can take the number of individuals that, uh, uh, so Q is the frequency of the homozygous recessives in, uh, so it is the frequency of the recessive allele in the population. So uh, you're going to take the number of recessive alleles and divide it by the total number of alleles. So once again, 25 divided by 50 equals 0 0.50. All right. So that's how you are going to fill out these charts. All right. Now there's a question at the end of this lab uh, in which it asks you to do Hardy-Weinberg uh, equations. And that's going to be similar to what I did on a previous video.